Reserve Bank of India Central Bank has kept interest rates unchanged today because it anticipates upside risks to retail inflation. It also slashed its growth forecast for the current fiscal and raised its inflation projections. The six-member monetary policy committee kept repurchase rate or repo rate, its rate at which central bank infuses liquidity in the banking system, unchanged at 6%. Central Bank maintained its neutral policy stance but acknowledged sluggish economic activity. It has lowered its fiscal 2018 projection for gross value-added growth metric as well to 6.7% from 7.3% in the last policy meeting in August. The RBI had slashed repo rate by 25 basis points. However, since then, inflation as measured by CPI index has accelerated sharply. One basis point is one hundredth of a percentage point. So there are no surprises as far as this is concerned. So RBI has gone for no cut in repo rate and everything has been maintained, though RBI has maintained a neutral policy stance as well. Going forward, it may happen that after studying the demand of festival season, Reserve Bank of India can take a call in its December meeting. Maintaining a neutral monetary policy stance. This was by a majority of 5 to 1. The MPC reiterated its commitment to keep headline inflation close to 4%. We expressed concern about the loss of momentum of growth in the early months of 2017-18, especially the persisting weakness in manufacturing. The MPC noted that the implementation of the GST appears to have rendered short-term prospects uncertain possibly delaying the revival of investment activity, which is already hampered by stressed balance sheets of banks and corporations. On a positive note, however, core industries posted a robust growth of 4.9% in August. The manufacturing PMI moved into expansion zone in August and September, maintaining a neutral mode. And on this story, we are joined by the head of one of the Indian Chamber of Commerce, and it is SHM. So we are joined by SHM President Sanjeev Jajodia. Uh, good evening to you, Mr. Jajodia. First of all, how do you react to this RBI's decision today? Well, I was a little bit disappointed because we were hoping that uh, there would be some interest rate cuts, especially in view of the controlled inflation rate. I, we believe that uh, there was uh, enough room for the RBI to at least come down by 25 basis point to 50 basis point. And I think it is important at this point because uh, to give boost to investment cycle and to, you know, give boost to manufacturing and uh, more so pointed towards creating uh, jobs. So that was a little disappointing and I'm actually uh, hoping that uh, uh, RBI would come out with some kind of a uh, roadmap as to, or indication as to what could happen in the near future in terms of interest rate cuts. So at least there'll be some hope going forward. So as far as economy is concerned, Mr. Jajodia, how do you see that today's RBI's comments as well, his own commentary was ha was having a neutral stance as well. So how do you see the overall picture as far as uh, RBI has painted it today? You see, the economy is uh, obviously, I mean, globally, the economy is, the global economy is going through a stress time. And so is the Indian economy. Indian economy is, time, is, is quite resilient in the sense that it, it is definitely on this path to come out of the uh, of the lows which it has seen in the past, uh, especially in the last UPA government it started off and then it is taking time to kind of come back to a growth path. We need to uh, very quickly resolve the NPA issues with banks and uh, that's already happening uh, with the new notifications and the com companies being taken to NCLT. So if that's one finds resolution, you know, the banks uh, and banks get recapitalized there will be definitely a better credit offtake and uh, the investment, domestic investment cycle will, will see a much better uh, growth rate than, than in the last few quarters. So that's a, a ray of hope. But interest rates definitely seem to be a concern and that we'll have to do something about. Uh, you know, as a nation, we have to worry about uh, creating 12 million jobs every year for um, uh, new, new workable uh, uh, ports which is joining the uh, employment, uh, this thing, and uh, I think it's important that we create this infrastructure, uh, 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 jobs and uh, manufacturing jobs for these youths. So interest rate is a very big concern. That is really something which SGM has always 
talked about and uh, that is really our view and i will i would like to take this opportunity to ask you one more question mr jorria uh, going forward how do you see the demand panning out especially during the festival season because very soon we'll be having the first anniversary of demonetization how do you see the overall demand coming in the coming festival season will there be any impact of note ban that happened last year see, first of all i think the uh, uh, the negatives of demonetization has been actually uh, highlighted too much it was a very short term pain and i think the uh, industry very quickly came out of that uh, pain and uh, so that's not really an issue today uh, demand will you know, consumer demand is uh, doing quite well fmcg companies are doing very well so i don't see a lack of consumer demand um, in the core sector there is a bit of a lack of demand where with the infrastructure with rera coming in now and affordable housing coming in now the steel cement and you know those sectors which are got large capex involved those will start to revive you see that demand coming up now and i am very very hopeful about that so um, overall overall economy going forward seems to be going in the right direction we just have to support the growth we have to just propel the growth and support the growth by facilitating the fiscal some fiscal measures as well as you know like stress cuts and other fiscal measures so that uh, this is sustained and grows further All right thank you Mr Jodia for talking to us and giving us such an important perspective on today's biggest story where RBI Reserve Bank of India India Central Bank has not gone for any surprises they have maintained the repo rate and reverse repo rate also we are joined by our economist Mr Suraj Bhatt on this story Mr Bhatt first of all i would like to uh, ask your reaction on RBI's steps well we discussed in the morning as well and there was no expectation of overall uh, RBI uh, we can say that uh, this RBI's decision today so dr but i would like to ask you uh, what do you make out of the commentary the commentary which was given by RBI governor today right so uh, if you, if you see the whole uh, you know circular that uh, he read out i think one thing very clearly uh, that uh, the entire mpc has agreed on is uh, maintaining a kind of a, a conservative approach and uh, fiscal prudence is more important Uh, is what uh, they 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 have looked at and i think uh, that's what they'll be uh, trying to monitor and even the inflation they they acknowledge that inflation is not caused due to liquidity it is caused due to supply side constraint and uh, uh, but i think the stance is very clear that uh, no more rate cuts in coming uh, future and uh, this i think uh, would be now, now the only way i can see this uh, uh, from a market perspective is uh, uh, maybe rating agencies and global fis would uh, should take a clue from this and see that maybe we are not uh, compromising on fiscal uh, uh, you know uh, fiscal route uh, fiscal data and uh, maintaining a stance and uh, this should have probably attract more capital uh, in the bond market as well as in the form of fdi and uh, our rating should approve over a period of time that's the only cheer that i can see out of it Uh, which can bring the economy out of the um, standstill that we are in a uh, one quick reaction from you dr bhat would uh, is government or rbi in wait and watch mode and will they look at you know they will stay for one two more months and look whether the demand comes back in festival season and can in december they can take a or we can say decision on whether to go for rate cut or not so are they is rbi in wait and watch mode now yeah uh, to to a great extent uh, this is what it looks like uh, rate cut is out of question hence for at least that that was very clear in the statement that they have made so uh, liberal approach is not going to be there even uh, you know in quarters to come uh, and um, I, i think uh, in the festive season uh, demand picks up we hope that uh, and and everyone is keeping their fingers crossed that the inflation data doesn't surprise in coming future because uh, that that can be a real party spoiler and uh, but otherwise i think a rate cut is not something which we are, we, we can expect hence for